So I just got back home from San Francisco yesterday and am I unpacking my bag? Absolutely freaking not. I am going to paint a bunch of canvases today. for the past week, but I was away at the trade show. Um, I did not wash my hair this morning. I got up, I hopped out of bed, and I was like, we're painting. So this is gonna be a little day in my life um, of me like manically painting. My fiance is away visiting his family. So I have no human contact to speak of. I am going to literally be in my dining room painting a million canvases all day, hopefully, if I don't run out of energy. <laughs> So here's two canvases I painted last weekend. And inside this closet is my big stash of canvases. <laughs> and I'm gonna see what I've got in there that I have to work with. Oh my gosh. I forgot that this even existed. Cool. Oh, there they are. And there's a big pack up there too. And my easel. So I got my drop cloth um, that I usually use for murals. It's just like a big sheet of plastic. And I put it on my dining room table and I got a bunch of six by six canvases out of the closet. Some of them are painted from the past. Some of them I haven't opened yet. I think I'm just gonna kind of line them up all right next to each other on the table and then kind of create like one continuous painting that each one will be a puzzle piece of. Here's the update. I had this color from my um, painting last weekend and then I just darkened it up a little bit because I felt like it was too light. Um, but I do always love a warm beige background because I just feel like all the other colors pop off of it. So I started with that for all of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the minis yet. And I also don't know if I'm gonna do all the same print on these, but um, I will be making up as I go along. <laughs> I just spent like an hour painting similar sorts of arrangements of flowers on these canvases. Um, so I did this really yellowy green and at first it wasn't showing up on the canvas. So I had to add more green to it because the yellow just wasn't doing it. And now I'm about to go with a lot darker green. Um, and this is the color initially, but in order to make it a warmer tone I mixed a little bit just a very small amount of brown in and I'm gonna start doing sort of like a tulipy poppy I think that'll be good this is a similar um, design to the print that I did on the last canvases um, from last week the big ones I'm kind of sticking with the same color scheme and I think it's going to turn out really nice Here's the update. I am working on the tulip flowers. I'm doing this red also more towards their center, like over here, and then I'll repaint the green on top um, to have kind of the stem as a part of the flowers. I'm interested to see how the one blue one turns out. Like the, you know, blue background is really intriguing to me. It's a very light blue. It's kind of hard to tell the colors from the camera. Um, but I think that's really fun because obviously these are all warmer colors. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. This looks like black, but it's actually the same dark green that's on the other canvases. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a red background even though it looks orange. Um, so the different background minis are fascinating and I'm interested to see what they end up looking like. I didn't get to do a recap last night before I went to bed after getting sushi. 
but this is all of the progress I've made. The little mini I am sticking with just warm colors for. Um, and then I'm doing basically every other color and floral on um, the other colors that are out there. And then we're getting kind of close with just the regular six by six canvases. So I need to do brown centers, yellow centers, yellow, yellow centers, brown, and then fill in the rest of this. I also might try and darken this or give it some accent color so it doesn't get washed out. Overall, pretty happy with how these are looking. So we're releasing the hand-painted originals I've been working on um, in a couple days. And I still have my entire dining room is completely messy because of all of my arting. And then I also had to move all the finished paintings, so I'll show you that. These are all the tiny ones that I finished. They're all kind of similar. Um, pretty happy with how they turned out though. So there's a whole bunch here and then I have a few more I'm working on. It's release day. We are putting 35 canvases that I've painted over the past couple of weeks up on the website at 3 p.m. I'm pretty nervous because it's been over a year since I've painted um, any canvases, since I've had any hand-painted items on the website. I'm hoping that people still know that I do that and are interested, but I guess we'll see. My kitchen has been an absolute mess over the past few days while I finish up these paintings, but these are all finally done. And then over here, I have all the rest and they all just need to be sealed still, but I'm gonna take them all with me to the office and then seal them there after Jordan takes pictures. All right, I am headed to the office now. We have all of the canvases all packed up back there. I am just a little bit worried because the last time I had a painted canvas in my car, I came to like a sudden halt and the canvas flew forward in my car, but it was in my front seat and it got a huge rip in it. I had to throw it away. And I'm still so upset about that. So fingers crossed this goes okay. So now I am just numbering the backs of each canvas and then signing the back as well. So Jordan is taking pictures of each canvas and we have them labeled with the number that is on the back of the canvas and also their price so that we can make the listings easily. And then I am going to go ahead and seal them all. I have quite literally never been so nervous for a release. I don't know, it's just like so personal when it's my art. I mean, I guess it's always my art, but like my handmade paintings, I don't know. They're about to go live. I'm crossing my fingers right now. Ooh, there's a bunch of people on the site. Okay, okay. Confidence being restored. Oh, nice, okay. There goes the first few. Okay, so we're about an hour into the launch and it looks like pretty much two thirds of the paintings have sold at this point. So I am super happy with that. I've been working all week on these and so I was just getting really nervous about how it was gonna go, but I am gonna count this one a success. I'm really looking forward to the next time I get a chance to do a whole release again.